Okay, this video is about combinations of equations, basically. All right, combinations. You've got two different equations, f of x and g of x, are two different functions altogether. So these are our combinations, a sum, a difference, a product, and a quotient. A sum simply means you add the two equations, f plus g of x. You add them up, no big deal. A difference means you subtract them, just like subtraction, f of x minus a g of x. Product usually doesn't have the black dot, but you'll see it there sometimes. So that just means product. You multiply the two functions together. Sometimes that requires a box. Sometimes it doesn't. So just keep that in mind. And a quotient of two functions, so the f of x divided by g of x. So I'll show you some things to be careful of on quotients. But generally, it's adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, the four arithmetics you learned long ago. All right, so let's try some of this. So they'll give you an equation. f of x is this equation. G of x is this equation. So on example one, I'm going to add them. It's the sum of two equations. So I simply do 2x plus 1 plus x squared plus 5. And then you combine like terms. So x squared plus 2x plus 6. Highest exponent always goes first. And that's all my combined terms, so that's all I can do. That's my sum of my two functions. Now the second one here is a difference. So be careful with the difference because you're going to take that first equation minus the second equation. Now I always want you to take this step to subtract it because you need to see that you're distributing a negative. So it's 2x plus 1 minus x squared minus 5. Again, I combine like terms. Highest exponent goes first, so negative x squared plus 2x minus 4. There it is. That's a difference. Now, a product, f times g of x. So I do a product, 2x plus 1, times x squared plus 5. Now, if you want to do box method or to multiply these, that's fine. I typically do FOIL, whatever works for you. First terms, I get 2x cubed, that's different, but you can do it. Outer terms, plus 10x, plus 1x squared, plus 5. Again, combine like terms and put them in exponent order. So 2x cubed plus x squared plus 10x plus 5. Okay, that's what happens when I multiply them. It's not always pretty, but that's what happens. Now in this one, this is a quotient, f over g of x. It's a quotient, I'm dividing these two. So I draw it out, or write it out just like that, 2x plus 1 divided by x squared plus 5. Now, notice the plus signs, they are holding on. Like this, this plus sign on the top is holding on to the 2x and the 1. I can't separate these two. On the bottom, x squared plus 5, can't separate these two. There's no canceling of terms here. So that is my solution, okay? Now, I bring this up because sometimes you might end up with stuff like this, x plus one over x minus one. And people are like, oh look, plus one minus one, they cancel out. No, they don't. These are factors, these are connected terms. So you cannot separate them by canceling parts and parts of one with parts of another. You can't do that, so don't do that. In this case, it doesn't affect it, but just keep a heads up on that. Now, on evaluating problems, that's when they don't put an x in the parentheses, but they give you an actual number to plug in. So the rule of thumb is this. Do the combination first. Do the x squared plus 1 over x, or 2x plus 1, I'm sorry, over x squared plus 5, f of x over g of x. Reduce it if you can. This one does not reduce at all, so I leave it as it is. Then replace the x's with negative 4. So I go 2 times negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 squared plus 5. So 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, plus 1 is negative 7. Negative 4 squared is 16, plus 5 is 21. Look, that will reduce to negative 1 third. Sure enough. So that's my solution. So do the combination first, then, then substitute in a negative 4 for x. Look at example 6. This is a difference that you have to evaluate. So let's do the difference first. So 
So I do 2x plus 1 and that plus 1 minus x squared plus 5. Distribute out the negatives. There's no combined, there's no like terms to combine. So I go negative squared, x squared plus 2x, I'm sorry, 1 minus 5 is negative 4. That does work. Now I'm ready to evaluate with x is a 2. So I have negative 2 squared plus 2 times 2 minus 4. All right, so 2 squared is 4. But remember, this is like a negative 1 in front, so this becomes negative 4 plus 4 minus 4. So that gives me a negative 4 total answer. All right, I want you to try this one on your own. Let f of x be x squared minus 9, g of x be x plus 3. All right, try this out, see what you get. All right, we'll see you in class tomorrow.